what is the best weapon to use for the Operator class in Battlefield Hardline? I personally believe that it is the ACWR as you guys can tell by the title of the video and the thumbnail, but you may have a different opinion from me. So viewer discretion is advised, my opinion is based off of my personal experiences with the weapon and your experiences may differ. While I am going to be taking some statistics from Simthic.com as well as Battlelog, your experiences will always be different with each of the weapons within the game, and while the gun may seem like one of their better weapons within the game, that doesn't mean that it will be for you, so keep that in mind while I go over this. So to start off with, it is not as easy to compare weapons in a given class in Battlefield Hardline as it was in Battlefield 4 because in Battlefield 4 each class had their own exclusive weapons and then there was the group of weapons that were available to all classes. However, in Battlefield Hardline every single class has exclusive weapons and for the operator that consists of both the carbines and the assault rifles. So. What they have done within this game in order to make it so that carbines are not overshadowed by the assault rifles is they have given them very similar characteristics and statistics. So whenever you look at the damage models, the rate of fires, the damage drop off and things like that for all of the carbines, they do stack up very well against the assault rifles giving them a very similar image whenever you look at them at first glance. At this point in time there are three main weapons in the operator class that everybody thinks could possibly be the best for those classes. Those three weapons are the AC. WR, the M16A3, and the M416. The reason being is that they are all very well rounded with good damage, decent firing rates, and decent reload speeds as well. But whenever you compare the ACWR to the M16A3 and the M416, you're comparing an apple to two oranges. So there are going to be some various differences. However, the ACWR stacks up really well against those two assault rifles. The ACWR has a rate of fire of 800 rounds per minute, which is the same as the M16A3, which a lot of people consider to be the best in the game, and is slightly lower than the 850 rounds per minute that the M416 puts out. However, the firing rate is where the similarities end and the differences begin between these three weapons with the ACWR having a considerably faster reload speed. With ammunition still left in the chamber, the ACWR reloads at 2.0 seconds. Just 2 seconds. That's pretty significantly fast. And whenever you do run out of ammo in your magazines, it only drops down to 2.2 seconds, which is considerably faster than the reload speeds of both the M416 and the M16 with ammunition still left in the chamber. So... When you look at the M16, it is 2.38 seconds with ammunition still left, and on the M416, it is 2.21. Both of those are higher than the ACWR's reload without any ammo left, so the slowest reload on the ACWR is faster than the fastest reload on both of those two assault rifles. And then whenever you look at the reload speeds of the M16 and M416 with ammunition depleted, they are nearly 3 seconds at 2.72 for the M16 and 2.6 for the M416. Granted, the M16 and the M416 do make up for this for their increased damage of only 3 hit points. The maximum damage is 25 on the ACWR and 28 on the M416 and M16. And the minimum damage on the ACWR is 15, while it is 18 on the M16 and the M416. However, do not let this slight damage difference shy you away from the ACWR because the ACWR makes up for that and it's considerably lower recoil than the M416 and M16A3. The M416 has more than double the vertical recoil of the ACWR and the M16 has double the vertical recoil of the ACWR. The ACWR's recoil primarily consists of a slight side to side recoil so that when you are bursting people at a longer range you're easily going to get those shots on target because it won't be jumping up and down as much. However with the M416 and M16A3 you'll find it more difficult to follow up with extra shots after your first burst because it will jump up so much higher. Likewise, the ACWR also has significantly less spread when you aren't aiming down sights, thus making it easier for you to make shots if you don't have the time to aim down sights at someone in close range situations. Because its rate of fire is pretty much equal to those of the M16 and the M416, having that increased spread is what makes a difference in the close quarter situations. Now I am by no means trying to say that the M416 and the M16A3 are not great guns, because trust me they are. They are my other two more used weapons within Battlefield Hardline as well, but I find myself going back to the ACWR over and over because of how good and well-rounded it is compared to the other weapons. Now, 
You could only get the ACWR by either getting the Deluxe Digital Deluxe Edition or pre-ordering the game, and some people see it as a sort of pay-to-win type of weapon. The only way you can get it is by putting in extra money at this point, since you, if you didn't already pre-order it, that's the only way you can get it. But... To be honest, that's not necessarily true. The ACWR is great. I think it is probably the best weapon for the Operator class, but as I said, it and the M16A3, the M416, are all so even in most of their statistics that even if you don't have the ACWR, you're going to find yourself easily at home with the M16A3 and M416, thus showing that the weapon balance in Battlefield Hardline is very, very good, and even though the ACWR is slightly better in some situations than the M16 and M416, that does not mean that it will replace them completely, and that if you don't have it, you're just going to get destroyed by it, because... The gunfights will end up being very even and very fair between those weapons. And basically all you're getting when the ACWR is an early unlock for those of you who do have the digital deluxe or did pre-order the game. Is you're basically just getting early access to an M16 or M416 just with a different name. So overall that's my opinion as to why the ACWR is the better gun for the operator class in Battlefield Hardline. If you guys think that the M16, M416, AKM or any of the other weapons in the class are better than the ACWR then leave that in the comment section down below and tell me why I'd like to hear you guys opinions I'm not going to dishonor your opinion and say that that is not true because I do want to hear your guys opinions but that's all for this video I really wanted to let you guys know what I thought was the best weapon in the operator class in Battlefield Hardline and now that you guys know then I would highly recommend going and trying out that weapon if you haven't already if you guys did like the video then please leave me a rating that would be very appreciated but as always this has been Lupus and I will catch you guys in the next one